Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Tentacom video. We're going to be dealing with some rumours that we actually know what the Xbox One's CPU clock speed is. And indeed, rumours around the internet and some maths uh, do give us an indication that the clock speed of the CPU, the AMD Jaguar inside the Xbox One, is not actually what we thought it was. For a long ass time, we actually thought it was 1.6 GHz possibly 1.7 but this is possibly not the case it's actually possible that it's all the way up to 1.9 gigahertz so how do we actually come to those conclusions well there's a couple of ways we can do this um, and it actually is pretty much down to the chip the AMD uh, Jaguar chip now, what we know is the Xbox One's AMD Jaguar CPU obviously contains the Northbridge and various other components right on chip. And I'm going to be simplifying some of the stuff because it's going to get a bit complicated for those of you who are not super into tech. But how it basically turns out is according to research, the actual Northbridge of the AMD Jaguar and various other uh, AMD APUs runs at about 50% the speed of the CPU. And by about, it just happens to be that it's 50%. So what we could do, we can actually use those horrible things known as maths. Well, some of you might love maths. I don't mind them on, on a reasonably friendly terms, I suppose. In this case, I love them because it allows us to do a bit of uh, interesting uh, calculations. Now, Microsoft, in the previous slide they released, at hot chips, actually, you may remember that there was non-coherent and there was coherent memory bandwidth. Now, on the coherent side of memory bandwidth, it was 30 gigabytes per second. If you guys want more information on that, you can check out my hot chips video. But anyway, as it turns out, it was 30 gigabytes per second. Now, what we could do, we could actually use some mathematics and use the slides to do some calculations from this. Now, there was four 64-bit wide, uh, two gigabyte uh, DDR3 2133 uh, megahertz uh, RAM on the actual um, slides. In other words, you could see that that's how they put the thing together. We kind of knew that anyway. That gives you 68 gigabytes per second total, but that's not the number we need to concern ourselves with, at least for the moment. What is important is the coherent memory. Now, the coherent memory's link, and you can clearly see this on the slides, it actually is 30 gigabytes per second, okay? Uh, Microsoft has stated it right there. I'm not stating this. This is Microsoft. And so um, this is connected to the CPU's MMU. Now, I'm going to quickly read you out what the MMU is. I'm certainly not going to go super in-depth into it, but an MMU is a memory management unit. Now, a memory management unit is a bit of hardware inside the system, uh, and it basically does lots of different things regarding managing the memory. Really complicated answer there, but it will do everything from like virtual addresses to physical memory. Uh, it will do cache and God knows what else. In other words, it does lots of different stuff in relation to, to memory. So it handles all of that for the CPU um, and just does its job. So what we can actually do now is we know that the Xbox One is a 256-bit DDR bus. Right, that's, that's a given. So what you can do, by all means, you can follow along with a calculator. Um, you take 256 and then you times that by 940. In this case, 940 would be the memory, uh, megahertz, I'm sorry. So just to clarify, you've entered 256, which represents the width for the bus, 256 bit. We have taken that and we've multiplied that by 940 megahertz. Now, this is the really cool part. Divide that by 8. We need to divide it by 8 because of the bits and the bytes thing, which, of course, you normally have to do when working out bandwidth measurements. And what figure pops up? That's right. So now, let's do the opposite. Let's take 940 megahertz, and if we take the 940 megahertz, and we times that by 2, remember, we are pretty sure uh, that the 
Jaguar, unless something's really changed inside, is using uh, the half speed from the North Bridge. So half of 900, sorry, so we have to double 940, right? So if you double that, it becomes 1880. Uh, 1880, just to clarify. So is that the speed that the AMD Jaguar is actually running in, the CPU? Now, there are a couple of other options. There is another couple of options. One, it could have a narrower bus there. In other words, it could have a specific bus and only 128 wide. So why do, why do we think that this is not the case? I'm not saying it isn't the case, because we don't know. Microsoft have not confirmed this. That's the important part. But what is possible is that it's actually not the case. And the reason we think that it's possibly, well, at least the reason I think it's possibly the case that the Jaguar is actually running at 1.9 is because the other option is that there was some type of interface between the North Bridge and the CPU cores and the level two. But that necessarily wouldn't be the best way to go. There's a couple of reasons for that. One, the AMD SOC is, well, pretty big, right? The complexity of the Xbox One is already not exactly simple. It's not exactly the most easiest of systems to design. The second reason is because it doesn't exactly improve the performance. In fact, obviously, if the data has to go and do, well, more loops and hoops, um, obviously I'm just making that up, you know, phrases for sound cool, but, well, not that cool, but whatever, uh, it's not really going to do wonders for performance. Finally, you've got more power requirements and you're cramming even more stuff onto a die. So in other words, you're adding complexity in terms of the original design. In other words, you've got to add more calculations to things. You're lowering the performance of it. You're increasing the size of the die and therefore things such as extra power, even if it's negligible. Negligible isn't the point. The point is you're still doing it and you're also increasing the size of the whole chips. So yeah, what does that mean? Well, it's possible that the Xbox One's CPU is 1.9 gigahertz. So if that's the case, we know that the Xbox One's AMD Jaguars, we know there's eight of them, of course, and there's eight threads. Um, each each uh, core handles one thread. So if we work all that out, if we do a little bit of a calculation, we know that it handles 1.9 gigahertz, eight threads, we know that the CPU, uh, sorry, the GPU cores, I'm sorry, 12 GPU cores, we know that they've had a slight um, increase in clock speed just before the conference, actually a couple of weeks prior to that, and so that's running about 1.31, 1.32 T-flops of computing power, which is slightly above, uh, of course, what it was originally, which was about 1.24. And so now we actually know, in theory, the clock speeds of the Xbox One. Now, once again, I'm just going to reiterate, this has not been confirmed by Microsoft. These are just some theories that are going around the internet. I've done some checking on the math, and the math does hold up. Um, it's just that there are other explanations for it. So, yeah, we're going to have to just kind of figure this out on our own. Um, unless Microsoft say, oh, by the way, guys, here's what we've actually done. Um, I'm going to be doing some more analysis on the Xbox One's SOC and APUs because I figured some more stuff out recently after trawling through some uh, message boards and uh, other websites. But that possibly won't be for today. It'll probably be tomorrow. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.